Welcome out to Salida High School. Uh, I'm Kayla Burgraff, uh, sports director for Art of the Rockies Radio, Kaylee Huffman, and Kelsey. Car. Of course I forget the last name. I got the first name right, but uh, joining us from Salida Volleyball, and we're talking Salida Volleyball in 2019 as Haley Huffman into your second year. Coach, first of all, what's changed coming into this year? Well, I lost 15 seniors, so <laughs> <laughs> that's a big change, but I mean, really nothing. I mean, this group of girls is awesome coming through, and we have some really good freshmen coming up, about 13 of them right now, so, you know, we lose some, we gain, gain some too, so. So far, it's been good. When you talk about last season, what was the learning curve for you like last year, and, and what were some of the lessons that you really picked up? Um, I think just like any year that you do anything, you learn a little bit each year. So like, of course, my first year, I felt like I was pretty on top of things, but then like looking back now, I'm like, oh, I need to do that now, and I need to do that better and that better. So, you know, you just learn little things as you go, but um, mostly just like as a whole, like our philosophy and like what we're trying to do, like we're trying to create better women and then better volleyball players. And so really pushing that, getting our girls to buy into that this year is really what we're pushing for. And I think we were really spoiled last year with the, yeah. the seniors we were, that we, we were. had. Yeah. So with all, the, all the girls that we had, but especially the seniors, they were super, super welcoming and um, it was really awesome to have them as our first yeah. year. Now with this year turning over, you have a lot of new faces that are gonna be getting some time up there. A couple returning faces. Talk about the returners first. Who are some of the leaders that you've seen kind of stepping up the first yeah. couple of years? Yeah, um, so Maddie Patch, um, so she played, she was one of our varsity outside last year too, so she's coming back to be a senior this year. Um, Rayleigh Patch, her sister, is gonna be another one of our top middles. Um, Jameson Batnick, she was a setter her last year, so she's coming back, she'll be a senior this year. Who else, Quinn Berkeley, will be our libero. Then, you know, we're kind of figuring out other things. We're trying new stuff and, yeah, getting back. But mainly, mainly Maddie is a huge, huge, huge leader for the team and everybody in here gets people going. And, and I think she learned that a lot from the seniors last year. So she's trained. I know one other thing that you guys are adding this year in the early season is this year there's actually going to be cuts. Last year, it's always a, a rough topic yeah. to bring up yeah. is when yeah. you have to cut a high school but yeah. you guys just had so many numbers out and the same thing this year it looks like a lot of girls out there how does that help as far as the program goes with sure. you coaching and getting the kids the most out of the experience? yeah so i mean first things first like cutting it's never something that we want to do like we never want to push somebody away from being in the sport and being healthy and active um as far as volleyball goes i mean six people play at a time and it's really hard to get those skills down and it's such a skillful skillful sport that teaching those skills it takes time and when you have too many girls they're they're not benefiting and we're not benefiting anything from it so having a less amount um, it makes it easier on them and it gets them more playing time and it's also easier on us um, and yeah. Kelsey you got to experience that really hands-on <laughs> how much does it help the, the smaller the smaller teams the younger teams the C team the JV when you don't necessarily have like you had 26 kids on your C team last year <laughs> how does that it, does that kind of speed up the development of the kids with less absolutely yeah yeah it's a lot easier to focus on like one development like one part of it with one girl as opposed to trying to work with seven girls with one portion of things um, so it definitely is very beneficial to be able to have a little more one-on-one -on -one time if we have that option. And it's more fair for them, yes, yeah. you know, to have more of the time. Absolutely. And they're here, they're putting in the work, they're putting in the time, so we want to get them as much out of it as we can, you know. <laughs> and again, never a good thing to, to cut. It, it, it is a good thing in the end. It doesn't yeah. seem like a good thing and it always hurts at the beginning, but always something that I think is going to be a positive yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Looking at the season, though, what should fans expect coming out onto the, the court, especially the early games? It, it's going to be different from last year. Again, you don't necessarily yeah. have the chemistry, yeah. the, the, the cohesiveness yeah. that you're going to have from 15 seniors. Yeah. But where would you put where this team's going to be at, hopefully, coming into those first, first game on the 20th? Well, we're, like I said, we're trying a bunch of new things, even possibly a new offense. And so... Um, I honestly think coming out, it's gonna be it's gonna be a learning curve, and we're gonna be like, hey, we're gonna try this. Cool, it didn't work. Okay, or this did work. So it might be a little rough <laughs> at the start, but um, the group of girls that we have, at least at Mark City right now, I mean, they do work well together, and so that's that's huge that they get along, they work well. It's just like you said, we have freshmen, we have sophomores, we have juniors, we have seniors, we have all of them, and so it'll take a little bit to get the chemistry, but they'll get there. Yeah. 
you got to work with a lot of the younger kids more last year. Who are you most excited to see the growth this year from those freshmen, sophomores, and even some of the juniors? Oh man, um, there's actually a few this year. Uh, Kira Martin has really stepped up yeah. her game. I'm really excited to see her throughout this season and see what more we can develop with her. Um, who else? Caitlin Smith. I'm super excited about Caitlin. She's just a powerhouse. She's got a lot of power behind her. <laughs> um, Lily Lingrich. Yeah. I'm also excited about Lily Lingrich as well. We moved her to a new position. Yeah. Position, so. yeah. So there's actually a lot of them. I could keep naming all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I definitely know I'm excited. Lake County, the first matchup for you guys on the 27th. We'll definitely break that one down and more of the season on the 28th for the first coach's show and we have volleyball on. But uh, I'm excited for the season and, and I'm excited for some of the changes. It's always nice yeah. in year two. So. Us too. And it's, I mean, it's nice. Like she said, we got, we got spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because that, that senior group, I mean, they were just super athletic, all of them in all of the sports. And so coming in, you know, it was great. But this year it's like, all right, we got to build this up and do it again. But they're willing and they have a good attitude about it. So yeah, it'll be good. Is there some excitement about the challenge this year for you too? And, oh, yeah. And, and oh, yeah. The other coaches? And, it's, and it's fun too because, like, you ask her who's developing, it's like, <laughs> Look at that, like, that, that, this freshman, oh my gosh. So it's fun, yeah. it's always fun. Well, it should be great. First game again on the 27th. You can listen to it on the Peak 92.3, your new home for Salida Athletics. So don't worry about going to Eagle if you're listening to Salida. Uh, keep it on the peak for, for all of your Spartan Athletics. And uh, we'll be back with more from the volleyball team as we go into the year.